اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم اف اللہ موسٹ گریشیس ایور مرسیفل رسپیکٹی رمیر صاحب آنرابل گیسٹ السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ گریڈنگز اف پیس بلیو ایر ناٹ ایٹ ہیز بین ٹین ییرز ایٹ ہیز بین ٹین ییرز سنس ہمینیٹی فرسٹ یو ایس ای ہیز بین اسٹیبلشڈ ان یو ایس ای فور آور گیسٹ آئی وڈ لائک ٹو بریفلی ٹیک کپل آف مومنٹس ٹو ایکسپلین and the community worldwide since its inception over 115 years ago has been serving humanity by building schools, hospitals, orphan cares, and many other humanitarian projects. Yet in mid-90s, the supreme head of our community established and envisioned an organization known as today Humanity First. His vision was that this humanitarian organization will serve the community without any bias, without any religious, political, or any other agenda, will bring the mankind across the globe together and serve the people in need. And by the grace of God, today we have been established in 37 countries and serving the humanity across the, across the globe in, in need. His vision was that one day, inshallah, this organization will become bigger than Red Cross. And today I will share a brief um, uh, video, a uh, uh, brief slideshow with you, just to show our brief activities of last 10 years. This is a slideshow. Although this slideshow may not reflect the emotions, because it is just sharing the numbers of people, number of souls that we have helped. But at the end of the day, if you look at the picture, I think picture paints a thousand words. So I will request just to kindly play that, uh, that slideshow for a few minutes, then inshallah I'll uh, cover a few more items with you. that has uh, happened since 2004, Humanity First has been there. We work, we collaborate. This picture was in Haiti. And not only that, once disaster is over, we help and rebuild, reconstruct. We stay there for years to build those communities. This is from Pakistan, Kashmir area. 20,000 victims were served in 2013 alone and since 2004 we have touched 550,000 souls which were infected by the disasters. Water for Life is one of my passionate projects and of many of you as well. We build hand pumps, we dig wells, we provide the water filtration system across the globe. Through the technology of using solar power, we build the water infrastructure. In 2013, as 300,000 people were served with a safe, clean, drinkable water. And since 2004, it's about 2.5 million souls that have been provided the fresh water. Global health is one of our key program where we start with the medical camps, we help building the capacity of the hospitals, we build clinics in collaboration with many other organizations including our community, and the Muslim community as well. We provide training, we take doctors from United States and many other developed nations to build the capacity of those uh, countries. This is our gift of sight program. And then again, the grassroots effort going into the smaller villages, touching the souls. 32,000 people served in 2013 and 210,000 people were given the medical care since 2004. Teaching a skill, teaching them how to fish, providing them technical training, whether that is the lathe work or, to, or the computer schools or sewing school, empowering ladies. 
We have built many schools in different countries, different parts of the world. This is one of the pictures from Guatemala where we have the IT center as well. Since 2010, this is another Knowledge for Life is our Kids Our Future program providing education, building schools. This is in Mali. We have a five schools project that we are building in Mali right now. And then of course, the building the strength of the schools, providing them science labs, providing them the computer infrastructure in the United States and also any country that we serve. Seventeen thousand students have been helped through our Knowledge for Life program. One hundred eighty thousand since two thousand and four. Food security program is known as Feed the Hungry program or Stop Hunger in America. So, within the United States and across the globe, wherever humanity first exists, these programs are carried out by building the capacity and providing them the food. So ladies and gentlemen, I know that Amjad has given me only a few minutes. I don't have the time to share uh, the stories of Marlene Sol in Guatemala, who had lost her eyesight and became burden on her, on her parents and her family. Through our Gift of Sight program, we were able to restore her eyes. Similarly, we have stories to share with you of a, a, a person, a, a child who was only eight years of old, started to earn the bread for his family by shining shoes. We were able to put that child through our computer learning center, teaching him English language in Guatemala. There are many, many stories like that. There are many stories of those mothers uh, who benefited from the clean water well. There were many mothers who were able to provide health care to their children. Many stories to be shared. I hope that you have opportunity to visit our website as well as our booth if you have opportunity uh, today um, to, to look at the stories that are being shared in our exhibition today. Also, I do not have the words to share my deepest appreciation and thanks to many of our volunteers, to many of our donors who continuously give time to these programs. As I stated that this is a volunteer-based organization and people work after they come home four to eight hours Today I'm going to share with you some of the names of the people that received a um, presidential award this year. Many of the people who worked also longer hours did not, but end of the day, you know and I know it very well that our volunteers do not work for these awards. But since our President Obama has signed these, I am, I think, uh, honored to mention these names. These are those people who have at least put 750 hours to 1,000 hours uh, in, in the last year. That means working four to six hours every day to serve the human being in need. And I'll call some of these names, and this is the plaque that we are going to be offering, and I request these volunteers to kindly visit our booth and pick up this plaque from the booth. Also, we have um, prepared our 10th year anniversary pin which I am wearing on, and I'm sure you'll be all proud to, win, to wear today. So on your way back out, please make sure you pick this pin because this is a souvenir for us commemorating the 10th year anniversary. Lastly, let me just quickly read the name of these volunteers who have received, but as I stated, there are many more that have been putting an enormous amount of time. Atiya Malik, Walid Khan, Tania Hussain, Shanaz Bhatt, Shazad Latif, Safra Khan, Saad Karamat, Rashda Rana, Pravez Khan, Nudit Salik, Naeem Lugmani, Masroor Sajid, Mehmood Qureshi, Kaisar Asman, Faizan Abdullah, Clayton Bell, Bashir Malik. Let me mention one quick thing about Clayton Bell. Clayton Bell spent two years in Haiti. 
He took the uh, time off after the medical school before pursuing his residency, and he served the people of Haiti right after the major disaster. Anyways, I would like to extend my, again, um, sincere thanks to all of you, also to the ambassadors of some, of some of the country or the representative of some of the countries that are here where Humanity First is serving by providing us the opportunity to serve in, in your country. It is an honor and it is a pride for us to do that. Thank you so much.